What's up guys, I'm back with another video, and this is going to be the last one for uh, these sets. I might make a video on the book but, uh, that I got for my haul, but yeah, this is just Stormfighter. It's a Ninjago Legacy Season 1 set, so let's see some of the features back here, and of course, the scene from Season 1 right there. Okay, so here is the uh, actual set. And first off, let's just look at this little shrine build. We'll look at the figures in a minute. But yeah, this has some cool snakehead pieces. Simple build, but pretty cool. And it's got the nunchucks of lightning. So it's got the dragon head hilt pieces right there. It'll focus. Anyways, it's got that, and yeah, they're attached to a chain. Connect them and Jux. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, now let's um, look at the jet itself. So, this is actually a pretty, pretty um, big jet as far as jets go. Um, it's kind of like the Kai, where it's like, the Kai one looks, from the images, kind of looks like this, but with more, um, with more downward facing look, but this is like a typical jet look, but it does have some really cool angles, like the wings look really cool, and some little lightning there, and there's some pretty cool angles, uh, we'll say that. There's some like cool like uh, shuriken pieces kind of. We've got a lot of flaps that can move, and there's actually four print I and mean, five prints. So you've got uh, two for the cockpit here, which I'll take Jay out. Okay, he's kind of stuck in there. Yeah, I got him stuck. Okay, well, that took longer than I had hoped. Anyways, it's got a nice chair back there, and then a joystick, and there's some two, there's two prints there. So that's two of the prints, and then the other um, three, there's one right in there, that little caution thing, that is a print, and then these, uh, like, propellers prints on the wings are of course prints and then back here you can see the engines and you do have spring, uh, two spring loaded, spring loaded shooters so you just fire those off that actually went into a basket so that's good um oh no it didn't uh anyways so that's pretty cool got two engine pods so like this mirrored built. That's a really cool sticker. That's a really, really cool sticker. The octopus kind of logo for Jay. And yeah. Blue is like my favorite color, I think. Either blue or red. So this is just aesthetically pleasing. Kind of. But uh, probably, probably had enough rambling about the design of it. I'll actually show it from the underside. Then I'll give you a sneak peek of like what's gonna happen. Um, when we do the main action feature, which is a transformation feature, so that ought to be good. Um, so you see this great bit? You push on it. You push forward. Okay. You got to lift it, lift it up. Push forward, and it clicks in to a. Uh, like a arm piece and then there's a these little spike things come out and so those are like um like I, this is like it's ultra shock mode or something so that's pretty cool um but these spring shooters are gonna go way off to the side there see the tips are facing this way but that is a really cool look so 
it's like, so if you shoot off the spring of shooters, it's like going everywhere. And that's actually kind of cool. And then to get it back at a regular mode, you can push on these and it'll unlock it. But, um, yeah, or you could just, just, like, uh, just pull it back and then close it up, I guess. Uh, but yeah, now let's go ahead and look at the figures. So we got Jay here, and I don't have his nunchucks, but yeah, that's because we already looked at them. Anyways, he's got a pretty cool season one, and I don't know if it's supposed to be season two as well, but probably. Um, a torso and a hip and legs, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Gi. Um, I like the dragons on it. And this is a dual wanted helmet, you can see there. Um, and there's his, this is Min Face, or I don't know, it's Mean Face, and then this is the Happy Face, and that's what that looks like with the hood on. So, then, next is, uh, the last ninja I need, uh, which is Nia, so, she's got a pretty cool design. She's got this, uh, like, a spear weapon that she has, um. She used it in the Ninjago movie first, and then the show. Um, so she's got the uh, red and azure. So dual wielded again. And nice prints. This is probably the best Nia figure that they've made. Um, I don't know. I, I prefer this. It's more colorful, although, you know, the gray is more personalized for Nia. Because um, she's like the gray ninja, I guess. There's her mean face, once again, and then this is her happy face with the hood on as well. And then now we get into the good stuff. One of the reasons I wanted this set. Uh, and here we have Pythor, uh, Pythor P. Chimsworth. And this guy is super cool. Super, super cool. I always wanted a serpentine at like... Even before I got into Ninjago, like I saw the server team minifigures and I was like, I want those because they have these awesome tail pieces. Like that, that looks like a snake, and then they can attach to anti sets, and then there's print on it. But then look at the head. Okay, I'm gonna take the staff out of the way. It's a pretty cool staff build, but that's not that's not the main focus. That's not the main focus of this figure. So, of. Uh, you can actually take the head off there. You can see the print a bit better there. There's a necklace thing. But here's his head. It's just got printing there. The eyes and the teeth. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. With the neck. The very, very long neck. That can swallow a lot. As we saw in the show. Yeah. I'm obsessed with this figure. This is like one of my favorite figures of all time now. Because it just has really cool pieces. Like, the idea is some like it's simple. It's just like a snake man. But it's a really cool. And it's cool to have Pythor. Because he's the main guy. Uh, the main villain. And then here we have uh, Lasha. Or Lasha, sorry. So, he's Anaconda. Uh, she's Vinmari. So she has the damaged eye right there. She has this, like, the scout. Um headpiece there which goes over her head so no printing back there but pretty cool like ammo pouch design thing yeah kind of rugged look um and then she comes with a fang blade this is a Venomari fang blade I think they have like I think they have the fang player fang blade in the uh Epic Dragon Battle Set. But yeah. I hope I can add to the Serpentine Army. I mean, it's going to be hard. Um, I'm not sure about the Dragon Battle. Or not the Dragon Battle. Because that's an old set. But like the new Ultra Dragon. Uh, but I think it would be cool to have Cloud's Blood Cycle. Zane's Nubia. And then you'd get another Lash out, which you could just call in, like another Venomari and then uh, Spido. But anyways, thank you guys so much 
for watching uh, this video, and I will, will see see you guys next time. I'm having trouble pronouncing things today. Uh, peace out.